So following on from the previous video where we gave a quick overview to what uh, futures is about, uh, we mentioned this idea that the future is an asset, right? So in futuring, we're not trying to predict the future. Uh, we're not thinking of the future as, as given, as deterministic in some way, uh, but we're trying to uh, make sense of it, right? And make sense of it in a constructive way so that we can use the future as an asset um, based upon our understanding of the present and what's possible, where we'd like to go. Um, so the future as an asset concept is a disruptive one. We normally think of capital, labor, technology as assets, but here we're seeing the future as an asset in the sense that it's an input into the world we wish to create, it's an input into changing today. It's an input into questioning today. In this way, the future becomes an invaluable asset for change. So Futuring, we're thinking about futuring in the context of systems change and systems innovation. How do we change systems? How do we use the future as an asset to help us change systems? And that's, um, it's gonna help us uh, do that by helping us frame and think about the future in a constructive way that helps us create pathways, uh, create stories, as we'll talk about now, and pathways to a different um, future. So it's an asset in that sense, and we're trying to leverage it um, by using futures. So if the future is an asset, then how do we turn that asset into a tangible resource for change in the present? The answer lies in the creation of stories. So the future, we, it's, it's unknown. It's, uh, to a large extent, unpredictable when we're in the context of, of complex systems. Um, and we're trying to make sense of it in a way uh, that will help us uh, change our actions in the present to lead to a different future. As human beings, we're always uh, living a story. Uh, foresight in this context is about shape, the shaping of alternative and preferred worldviews and metaphors of the future. Stories for change are stories about the future and the way it could be. Thus, futuring and future scenarios form a key part of storytelling. Story um, so they're kind of the basis of um, how we're going to construct our, our stories about the future and thus what pathways we're going to follow, the actions we're going to take in the present. Our future is made up of the stories we tell today. Thus, we can change our future by simply telling different stories. If we want to change the system, create a different world, we're going to have to have a coherent story about the new possibilities. And this is what futuring um, and scenario building, building scenarios about the future um, can form the basis of those constructive stories. So in this sense, um, it's, it's very much a reflexive process. Um, the central idea is that instead of being subjects and slaves to an objective and given future reality, we're trying to use the future to create a vision and then going through a process to make that um, a reality. So as mentioned, a lot of what we normally try and do is predict the future and plan for it. Um, and that's really assuming that there is one future and that it's given and deterministic already. The whole value of futures is that um, we are open to the idea that there are different futures and um, that we can create that future uh, by telling different stories in the present. And that's a very much a reflexive process, uh, if you think about it. If we believe that the future is given and act based upon that, then we will create that world. But if we want to change a system and do transformational change, um, then we need to turn this around, giving people the capacity to create their vision of future and then working backwards to illuminate how they got there. The very act of doing this uh, gets people involved in the change process. So this is how we're using the future as an asset. We're using future as a way to change systems, to change actions in the present that will lead to a different um, future. And that is very much a reflexive uh, process. So we're creating the path as we travel along it. The key idea of this reflexive approach is that the path um, is the goal. It doesn't exist yet in telling stories. We're going to um, help us change our actions, take different pathways and create a different uh, future. As you start on this process, uh, the vision becomes the reality by believing in it and making it happen. We do something different and get a different future. The world we end up in is the one uh, we created along the way. If only a few uh, envision it and create it, um, so it's getting to inclusivity that we'll talk about. Um, we obviously mean to uh, engage a, a wide uh, group of people in the creation of this future. Otherwise, it will just be uh, for the few. 
Uh, if this is to be a world that serves and works for all, then we all need to be involved in envisioning it and going through the process of creating it. We'll talk more about that in a future section.